Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Demoria, if it's your first time here, and if not, welcome back. Well, today I am not doing much, just gonna do a little bit around my room, and I'm gonna be focusing on my desk area. Right now, it's looking a little disheveled. It doesn't look good at all, but I've been holding off on doing anything until I've had time to film, so I'm gonna do that today. I have a shelf that I wanna put up above my desk, and I also have something that I wanna unbox. But before I get to that, I'll show you what I bought. I went to Home Depot to pick up a leveler because when I put my shelf and my curtains up, I wanna make sure I can get it right the first time. I already had one of these. I don't know what I did with it. I also picked up these Velcro strips. I've never seen this before. I've always used the command strip and those are kind of pricey. These were like half the price. These hold up to 15 pounds and I don't know if they will work on the command strips. They do hold more weight. I didn't see anything that went above 15. If I feel confident enough to put the anchors in and screw them into the wall, I'll do that. But if I'm not feeling quite confident enough, I'll go with these. The curtains are very sheer, so they're not going to hold that. They're not going to be that heavy on the wall but you never know with these things i also picked up some color swatches because there's a little diy project that i want to do and you know these are free at home depot i felt kind of bad because whenever i picked them up it was quite a few people working in that area i felt like they were looking at me like so you got your swatches when you gonna come mix your paint but i just walked away but i got these colors right here and I picked this up from Michaels I also stopped by my storage unit to pick up a frame I got this from Goodwill not long ago I like the frame don't like the art in it so this could possibly work for my project and I also have this I've had this for a long time I bought this brand new but never used it I bought this whenever I was doing my little coffee station and it just didn't work out so this could possibly work so it'll be either one but in the meantime while my curtains are washing I have something that I want to unbox kind of heavy not too bad but this is it right here it's just a monitor that I can connect to my laptop so whenever I'm working it'll make my life a lot easier because I need multiple screens and since we're gonna be doing oh, since we're gonna be doing the desk area this is the perfect time I got this from Best Buy and it was only a hundred dollars most of the monitors that I saw were a lot more expensive this is it it's a nice size screen I like how sleek it looks. The borders are very thin, so I like that. This is the base that it will sit on. Looks like something else goes with that base too, because that doesn't look complete. Oh, I was thinking it sat like this, but this is the base. It has like a little key with a handle on it, and you can use that to tighten it up. And it looks like it came with the HDMI cord. So I like that. I already have an HDMI cord, so I wasn't worried about not having one. But the fact that it comes with one, that's good. Because a lot of times they'll sell you products and you have to go shopping. Like, give me everything. You know I can't use it without a cord. But this is my first time buying a monitor, so I don't know. All right, guys. So this is what my desk area looks like. It's not looking so good. I want to clean this up. I'm just basically going to move everything away from here. And then that way I put my shelf up here. But I can't do much work because I have all this stuff here. This is from whenever I did my DIY project, my little floor lamp. I'm going to clean this up so I can have room to clean my desk up and hang my curtains. I was gonna go ahead and hang my curtains up, but I think it might be a better idea to do the shelf above the desk first. That way, well, no, maybe if I hang the curtains up first, it'll be better because then I can see how far away they sit from the wall. I don't want it to look too tight and crowded. These curtains are like just a huge savings for me because I'm using all the old things that I had. There was only one thing I needed to purchase, the curtain rod hook. I picked these up from Home Depot. I'm also using the curtain rod that I had for years. They're perfect for now. If you remember the partition that I put up in the dining room, I had rings. Oops. And the reason I like using these rings is because it adds length 
to whatever you're hanging. I would say that maybe gives it an extra inch and a half of length. So, so this is the shelf. Same one I had in my bathroom at the other apartment. The brackets are what I want to change out. I actually have three of them. I picked up two and whenever I did my lamp, my DIY lamp, I thought it would be nice to put one of these at the base. So I went back to Walmart and picked up a third one. So I still have to do that as well. I thought I was going to use two rods, but I got two. And whenever I put them above the window, they're too long to put them side by side. So I was like, let me get one of you all over the top of the So I'll just use one. So I'll have to go back to the back of brackets. So I can get two of them. Hi guys, I'm back. It's another day and I've already been working this morning. Whenever I tried to hang the curtain rods up, I couldn't do both side by side because they were too long. If I would have tried to hang them side by side, I would have had to overlap because there's not enough space between these two windows. I tried to see if one rod would go all the way across both windows and it worked. So I'm glad, but I would have preferred using the two because I would have been able to bring the curtains out a little further to make the windows look wider. But there's just not enough space over here on this side. So I decided just go with one. I also returned the Velcro that I bought that I did not use. So I got a little bit of my money back. So that's good. Now let's talk about the things that are not good. As you can see, I don't have a shelf on my wall. That's because I had to take it down. As soon as I put my shelf up and I walked away and looked back, I was like, oh my goodness, I messed up. I mounted them too high. There was a lot of space here between the desk and the shelf and there was too much going on. Whenever I looked at the shelf, I just saw a lot of different lines. The ceiling, then there's the curtain rod, the top of the window, the shelf, and then there's this black bar that sits in the middle of the window, you know, the top of the bottom window so you can raise it up. That was distracting to me. So I thought it'd be a good idea if I was able to bring the shelf down just enough where it lines up with the middle of the window. So that black bar in the top of the shelf would be on the same plane and it would be easier for me to clean because I could see the top of it. Things that you can't see tend to carry a lot of dust because we just don't look at it. 
that's why I have this spackling on the wall. I am currently on my third coat. It should be dry pretty soon and that way I can sand it down and go over it with some paint. So this is the spackling that I have. I bought this back in January or February when we moved in here because I had to make repairs in my bathroom from these same shelves that I put up. I also have this paint right here. It's a glitting sample. It is the color Swirling Smoke. It worked out pretty well. What I did when I moved out of the other apartment, I just took a little chip of the paint with me to Home Depot and their color matching machine was down. So I had to actually go where the cards are and find the closest match. So this is what I came up with and it's not perfect. It's really not, <laughs> but it's, it's good enough. Once I get this sanded down, we'll go over this with some paint and then we'll go ahead and put our shelves up. The bottom holes that I have here in the wall align perfectly with the window so I don't have to remeasure. I can just use that as a guide. So that's going to make my life a lot easier. Also, I went to Trader Joe's while I was out because I just had this vision in my head of purple tulips because I bought this vase about mm, a little over a month ago I bought a vase and I haven't shown it to you guys but I'm going to show you everything that I have to put over here we're going to work on that DIY project but look at these flowers this is my favorite flower and the color is gorgeous and I think it'll look really good with the vase that I have so I'm going to show you guys all the things that I have that I want to style the desk with and hopefully it'll be enough if not we can do that over time but for today I think we'll be good and there's also that DIY project I want to work on. Let's do a quick little haul of some of the things that I have. Let's start with the DIY project because I've talked about it. I have these two frames. What I plan on doing with this is using these little color swatches to create sort of like a calendar, something I can erase and write on over and over again rather than using paper. Hopefully it'll be cute. Hopefully it'll be functional. If it's not functional, at least it'll be cute for now until I can figure out something else. Another thing that I have are these cute little notebooks. They come in three different colors. I don't know where these came from. These were actually a Christmas gift that I got Christmas of last year, 2023, from a coworker because we did the little gift exchange where we spend $25, where you pull a name and you buy them a gift. We all did like a registry and one of the things that I put on my list was stationery and she did a great job. I think these are beautiful, so pretty. Next, I have the vase that I bought the tulips for. I was in Goodwill looking just for a vase because of my sister's graduation, I bought her some flowers. So I was looking for a clear glass vase and I just happened to spot this. So I bought the vase for her flowers and I bought this right here for myself. It is very heavy. It looks antique to me. It looks like something you would see like in your grandma's house and it has so much character. It looks like birds, some flowers. It's blue, brown. It has like a mauvey pink color. The background on it looks kind of grayish, but it also looks really creamy. So excited to style with this. I know this looks like it would be something that would belong in the kitchen, but our kitchen, is <laughs> our kitchen isn't ready for something this pretty yet. And it was only $6. Next, I have this. It's just a little candle holder. I actually bought this the same time. I bought this chair and a couple of other things that I put in a previous video. I think I forgot to show this candle holder. I got this for $2.09, but you can hold a taper candle or a regular big candle. And I don't have a candle to put in it. I'm just gonna give it a try and see if it works because when you're starting to style things, you just need options. This is an option. I also have some new items. These two little ceramic jars that came from the Dollar Tree and I bought them for some plants that I have but once I got them I realized that they won't fit because the opening in here is just a little too small so I can't use it for that and these are my other two plants that I have so we'll figure out something for that if you watch my video where I drove Lyft and I took you guys with me I purchased this little lamp from TJ Maxx for $17. It is by W&A Home Decor New York. It's chargeable. It has three settings. I think this is just the cutest thing. I'm so happy with this purchase. There's something else that I could possibly use. I ordered a long time ago some frames as well as some cups packed away under my bed. So I'm going to grab those things and we're just going to look at it just in case I end up using it. And you're like, where did that stuff come from? Oh, I didn't realize I had so many. 
these are frames that I got from I think I got these from Walmart and I got these for a good deal but it was such a long time ago I don't remember how much I paid but it came in a set of five it already had the little trim the little mat that goes in the back I had uh, a design in mind but I never executed and these are the prints that I have where did I order these from whenever I ordered these I wanted my room to look like a vacation imagine like sipping on a cup of coffee and I'm watching YouTube and I'm watching people travel and I'm in a beautiful place myself so <laughs> I ordered these prints this is one of them and I think that is just so pretty it looks like you're sitting on a patio having brunch by the sea this one to me oh I love the colors and to me this looks like I am taking a little stroll and I come across some cute little cafes and I could just sit out and have some pastries and sip on tea or something look at the little chairs and stuff oh my goodness this one is part of the theme because who's traveling me of course I had this picture taken one day when I was in Pont City Market and they had this cute little Volkswagen minivan it was giving I am on vacation I'm traveling and I'm walking down those streets eating those pastries and headed to that balcony to have brunch that's why I picked this picture but I don't know if I want to put it on my wall or not so those are options I don't know if there's quite enough room above the desk but why not give it a try I think it'll be fun and here's a cutie little mug possibly could put one of my plants in here and another is this another one? Oh, I forgot about this this is perfect I think let me see I may have to put something down in the bottom but yes I love this. I feel like this fits the theme of this, right? Oh, it's got a chip in it. Not a whole lot to talk about here. I talked you guys probably to sleep. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. If so, let me know by hitting the like button, maybe subscribing to my channel. That would be wonderful. And I will see you in the next one. Talk to you later. Bye. This right here make you have confidence in me. You ain't look Yeah. No. <laughs> you could easily pay like $40 for this out of a high-end store like Crate and Barrel or you know one of the other ones that i don't know about because i don't be shopping there this right here is gorgeous but everything else in here is a hot mess